Hey, what is up guys? So we are going to be doing the deck profile for the Gishki Ultimate Forbidden Lord OTK. If you guys actually haven't seen the duel, I recommend you guys check it out. I'll put a link down below in the description box. But it is a very fun deck to play and, you know, occasionally you can still pull off some stuff even if you don't happen to get a huge OTK off. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. I'll explain all the choices as we go along. So, first off, I'm playing 15 normal monsters. I know it's a high count, but you definitely need them because of advanced ritual art and the level that Zeal Gigas is. He is going to be level 10, so you need to send 10 normal monsters from your deck to the graveyard, and then you're going to, of course, have your Exodius the Ultimate Forbidden Lord to do more shenanigans with him. So, uh, first off, we uh, play 15 of the Vanillas. Now, you can definitely put in a, you know, a lot of other ones. You don't have to, you know, play Skull Servant. I decided, originally, I was going to play BLS in here because, you know, BLS goes in everything, but the thing is, I didn't want BLS to be the star player of this deck. I wanted it to be, you know, the Goose off max so uh you know you can definitely make you know multiple goose off maxes because remember uh this card is level 10 this card is also level 10 and you know you can special summon more than one cephalon so that's really cool in that aspect and uh you can definitely make multiple goose off maxes if you want to but yeah pretty much zilga guess plus this equals a lot of damage to your opponent so uh you don't really need BLS at all. But uh, after the 15 vanilla monsters, oh, keep in mind they do need to be level 1. That is very important because uh, if they are higher level, you won't be able to send more with advanced virtual art. So yeah, you want to keep them level 1. You can play different ones if you want. Um, I, I just decided to throw in Moki Moki because I thought it was hilarious. The same thing with Skull Surfer, but these are light and dark, so it definitely does work if you want to put in BLS. Um, next up, uh, two self launch just because, you know, you activate one adventure virtual art that sends 10 monsters to the graveyard. Hey, why not throw in Cephalon? That's a free 4,000 an attacker. Uh, next up, I play three Exodius the Ultimate Forbidden Lord. He's basically used, um, depending before or after, I mean, you can still send these cards to the graveyard and then, you know, just return them, so it's not bad at all. And then uh, after you activate Advanced Ritual Art, since this card gains a uh, thousand attack for each normal monster in your graveyard, that basically means he, if you use Advanced Ritual Art, he's minimum 10,000 attack, so uh, that's pretty good in my opinion. Um, but yeah, he recycles stuff, plus he's level 10, so Gustav Max after if they happen to do anything. Uh, next up, Triple Sonic Bird, Triple Manju of the 10,000 hands. You need to get Advanced Ritual Art as quickly as possible, otherwise, yeah, you have a lot of dead cards in this deck, so you want to activate Advanced Ritual Art as quickly as possible. Next up, uh, 3 Gishki Abyss and 3 Gishki Visions. Basically, it just allows you to add a Gishki monster, and that definitely uh, helps out quite a bit, and this can be used as the entire Ritual Summon, so that's why he is also here. And then uh, 3 uh, Zeal Gigas, just because, you know, you need him to, you know, adva activate Advanced Ritual Art, and then, um, you know, everything is okay from there. Plus, he has a decent effect, too. Uh, next up, we have uh, 2 Advanced Advanced Ritual Art, because this card is amazing in the deck, and then we have Three World Decree just to prevent anything from stopping you from OTKing. What's interesting with this deck is Valor doesn't hurt too much simply because you can just, you know, Valor, what's Valor gonna do against this? Uh, yeah, obviously with this it sucks because you won't obviously have his attack, but you can still overlay for Gustav Max, so th there's where, you know, you can kind of counter Valor. Um, Anyways, and on top of that, sometimes they want to Valor this. As soon as you go for this, they might want to Valor this immediately. And so, yeah, you'll have options for that as well. Um, but uh, as far as the extra deck in this, you don't really make anything. I, I don't even know why. There's, I, the, I do have a tuner in here, but it's, it's pretty difficult to make. But yeah, I could technically make some other uh, synchros if I wanted to. I uh, definitely play two uh, Gustav Maxes. I mean, it got reprinted, so why not? Um, as far as that, there's not really anything else that's really needed. I do recommend playing this. This card won me the game, and I sacked my opponent in like the sackiest way possible. Uh, so yeah, definitely don't forget to put in that Dugus to Emerald. And lastly, you can definitely make use of BLS in here if you wanted to play it. But like I said, the way I wanted to play this deck was I wanted to make this card and this card the star player of the deck. So I was like, I, I, I can't give BLS too much spotlight here. I've already made a deck basically revolved around him. But yeah, check out the video, a very fun deck. And occasionally, yeah, you will draw normal monsters. I drew a bunch in my video, but it's okay. I still won because, you know, getting out, you know, I, it was 21,000 attack is what I actually had on board. And then, um, yeah, that was including going for Gustav Max too uh, in main phase two. But yeah, very fun deck to play. So if you guys want to, you know, play something interesting and sack your opponent sometime, it's pretty fun. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Asianize out.